I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to solve quadratic exponential equation. It is a very interesting and important example. Solve 2 to the power of 2x minus 3 times 2 to the power of x plus 3 plus 128 equals to 0. When we say solve it means find the value of x so that this equation is satisfied. That is the meaning. Now to solve this equation, we could actually substitute and then write this equation in quadratic form. I will show you how. Uh, let us say if 2 to the power of x is equal to p, then p square will be how much? Will be 2 to the power of 2x will be p square. So that is the kind of substitution which we are going to do to solve this equation. I think with this hint, you can pause the video, solve the question, and check the solution. Okay, now let's begin. So we are given the equation 2 to the power of 2x minus 3 times 2 to the power of x plus 3. It means what? It means 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 3. That is what it means, right? So when you have same base, exponents get added up. So that is what it is. Now, writing like this helps to solve this equation. Let's see how. So, we have 2 to the power of 2x minus 3. Now, 2 to the power of 3 is what? 8, right? 2 times 2 times 2. It is 8. So, we can write this as times 8 times 2 to the power of x plus 128 equals to 0. I hope till now it's absolutely clear, right? These are very critical steps. To understand. Let me combine them and write them as 24 times 2 to the power of x plus 128 equals to 0. Now we will do the substitution which we talked about. 2 to the power of x is p for us and 2 to the power of 2x that means square of this is p square. So that is this term will become p square and here we will have 24p plus 128 equals to 0. So that is the quadratic equation I was talking about. Once we have a quadratic equation, we can easily factor, correct? Now let us see how to factor this particular quadratic equation. Now in this case, we are looking for two numbers. I mean, let's say the numbers are a and b, then their product a times b should be 128, right? and sum of a and b should be minus 24. What are these numbers? When the numbers are big, it is not so easy to get these numbers. Let me show you a technique of doing it. So we actually find the factors for 128. So you could say 4 times what? 4 times 332, okay? And then what we can do? 32 is like uh, 16 times 2. I can write 2 times 16. Is it okay? So that gives you a few factors of 128 to play with. Now when you multiply these, you definitely get 128 since these are the factors. But when you add, you need minus 24. Can you look for a combination which could give you that? Yes, we can. When you multiply, you need positives. That means both A and B should be negative. When you add them, you get a negative number. So if I combine these two, then what are we left with? We are left with, so if I combine these two, I get minus 8. I want to put minus, right? And this as minus 16. If I add minus 16 and minus 8, I get minus 24. Therefore, I know that my magic numbers are minus 8 and minus 16. When you add them, you get minus 24. When you multiply, you get 128. So, we can factor this as p minus 8 times p minus 16 equals to 0. Once you have this factor, you know there are two solutions. One solution is p equals to 8. The other is p equals to 16. If I write p 16, this is 0. 0 times anything is 0. Equation is satisfied. If I write 8, 8 minus 8 is 0, 0 times anything is 0, so the equation is again satisfied. Now the question is, what is the value of x? 
we know p is 2 to the power of x let's substitute it back so we get 2 to the power of x is equal to a and 2 to the power of x is equal to 16 now we have to find what is x correct that is not very difficult now correct i can write this as 2 to the power of 3 is 8 correct and 2 to the power of 4 is 16 so that gives me two possible solutions and that is my answer my answer is x is equals to 3 or x is equals to 4 do you get it so that is how we can actually solve quadratic exponential equations and these are good steps to follow and this is an excellent example so i like you to go through this example once again and then try some questions from your book they should be simpler now i'm anil kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn such techniques thank you and all the best